Hello and welcome back to my tech wardrobe. My name is Caitlin. This is Lucy and it's time for Halloween Village 2022. Welcome back everyone. It has been a very long time since I have made a video and there's a very good reason for that. I'll share all about my upcoming project in another video but for today it's officially October so of course it's time for my annual Halloween Village video. Now I have tried to take some steps to make it a little bit less chaotic this year, but it is probably going to be exactly the same. So I hope you're ready. Buckle up. Enjoy. This is how I build my Halloween Village every year. I primarily use Lemax Spooky Town pieces. I'm looking forward to sharing with you. You'll notice uh, I am wearing a hat this year. That is because my hair is dirty and also because I have this nice pumpkin hat. It's actually, I think, technically a child's hat, <laughs> but I, I mean, when you have a child size head, what do you, what do you, what do you want me to do? It's cute. It's cute. I've specifically chosen today because Tilly the Golden Mountain Dog is on a play date, so she is not here to experience this setup chaos, which I think is good because Lucy, the cat, is chaos enough. So Tilly's just gonna have to find the village here when she comes home and hopefully her tail doesn't knock anything over. Okay, here's where we're at. I usually take everything out, get all of their associated cords and, oh no, where's this one go? Okay, I was literally just in the middle of saying how prepared I am and how well organized all the cords are, and I'm seeing a few that don't don't have a, a village attached to them. Okay, well, you know, we try. All right, first up is everyone's favorite messy sheets. What would we call these? Sheets? And I'm gonna put these over top. So I have my two bamboo tables from a bazillion years ago. They were actually in my house as a kid growing up. So I've inherited those. And I've put a coffee table in front of here. I've draped it with a dollar store tablecloth. So, you know, we're, we're cost effective around here, you know? And then I'm gonna lay out this moss and then put the platforms over top. These are also from Limax. And by the way, these videos every year are not sponsored by Limax, uh, even though it sounds like they are, but Limax, if you're listening, you know, if you wanna, I don't know. Oh God, okay. The mess continues. Um, I have collected several of these over many years. So typically what I'll do is just lay them out on here and just play around with them until I get a sequence that works. I could watch my old videos to remember how I do them every year, but I just don't. So we're gonna start here. They look a bit like mossy cakes. Okay, another thing that I think I did last year that I probably shouldn't have was leave the lighting until last. And I tend to do that every year, but I'm gonna start with that this year so that I can actually plot out where I want the ambient lighting to be. Because I think I mentioned last year, it's really important not just to have the villages set up in an interesting way, but you wanna have different light sources that are either projecting or up lighting on the different pieces. Because a lot of them have their own lighting, but it is nice to add that extra element. Now, I know also I have seen many Halloween villages online that are truly spectacular. I am an admirer of everyone's spooky Halloween villages. This one <laughs> is just sort of an amateur's guide to how I do it. I am not a crafter because I don't have the patience and I'm not much of a DIYer outside of Halloween either, but hopefully this gives you some ideas that you can play around with if this is something you enjoy. Or maybe you just want to watch me do it and enjoy the chaos. But Hey, by all means. What's up? Does that look a bit not so good? Well, like I said, this is all a work in progress, so stick with me. Hey, hey. Uh, hello. Hi. Um, 
Can we? Can we get out of here? Yeah, please. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay, so in a similar vein to last year, I'm just going to start assembling the village piece by piece. As I mentioned, typically what I like to do is set up an actual village structure. So I will have things that are likely to be, if you think of a small village on the top of the hill, and then cascading down, you would sort of see a town square if you think of Halloween town or just small spooky towns. So that is what I'm going to hopefully achieve now. Through trial and error. What is first? Witch Tower. That is what. Oh my god! Oh my god! <gasps> I'm just gonna try to fix this. <gasps> my hair broke one of the witches off its little peak. So we're gonna we're gonna come back to that. This witch is just gonna like she's just gonna sit up here. Disaster number one unlocked. If you can hear that noise outside but we have some construction going on behind our house so sorry if it's annoying but uh imagine how annoying it is living here okay how are we doing how are we looking oof Crowded. Okay. See, this is where it's important to just take a bird's eye view and look at it dead on because when I'm looking at it, here's what I'm seeing. This part here is clearly way too packed and I can't remember what I used to do with it last year, but this is supposed to be the town square area. Like this is the business section. This is the sort of kids section with some refreshments and a gazebo. And then on the way out of town, you have the gas station. So that's great and all, but the perspective is kind of off as well. So I think that's something that I'm gonna need to just shuffle around, space out a little bit more because the perspective makes no sense here. I think that's better. Let me back up and look at it. Yeah, that's way better. I also often <laughs> break things by not storing them properly. Can you see this? Hello? Yeah, I break them by not storing them properly. So I find like random brooms and little ghosties uh, everywhere and I can't really remember where they're supposed to be. I do say every year that I'm gonna glue gun them, which I just do not. So. Maybe th this year's the year, but who knows? It's finally done. I say finally, but I honestly think this is the fastest I've ever put together a Spooky Village collection. And I think it's because this is finally the second year in a row that I have been able to use this spot with these tables. So I think, I think this is the, the area that it's gonna stay in. I'm gonna do some close up shots.
Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, consider maybe subscribing and giving it a little thumbs up. Now, I don't do content like this all the time. I'm not a crafter, I'm not a DIYer. I just make content about the things that I enjoy doing. So making Halloween villages is one of them. If you'd like to see my previous year's videos, I have two more of those. So I'm going to link them down below if you'd like to observe the chaos of years past. This year was slightly less chaotic and frankly, I'm pretty glad. I've had a pretty chaotic month so far. I hope you're all doing well and stay tuned for next time when I announce my fun big project that I've been working on. I have not made a video in so long, I forget how I sign off. If you liked it, like it. And if you didn't, you got this far, so you may as well subscribe anyway. And it might be different next time. I don't know. Bye. Excuse me.